Oh yeah, on a drop. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good bass. Oh, there's another one. What's up everybody? We're out here today and we're gonna work our way up a creek here. Um, I fished this creek before and uh, there's some decent sized bass in there. So we're gonna go for them, but we got a lot of different stuff we're gonna try. Uh, only got a couple hours to fish. Got to get the car back to my wife so she can work tonight. So we're going to get right after it and uh, see what we can find. Oh yeah. First fish of the day. A little smallmouth. I watched him come pick it up. Just a little fella. Alright, I'm going to release on that guy. Find some more. There he goes. Well, that's a good start. Uh, knew there were some bass in here, so hopefully there are a few bigger than him, but that's a definitely a good start. First fish of the day. All right, going back in here. Um, got a small guy over here, had some guys come down, had a couple bites kind of in this a um, little bit deeper section. I know there's some deep water that some bigger fish usually sit in over here, so I'm going to work down and cast into that. Oh yeah, on a drop. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good bass. Oh, come on. That's a real good bass. Oh, that's a small mouth. Oh gosh, that's a good small mouth. Come here. Come here, stay down. Come here. Nope, nope, stay down. Oh, that's a good small mouth. Keep, stay hooked, stay hooked. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's a toad. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's a big small mouth. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy cow, I wish I had a measuring tape. That is huge in this tiny little creek. I knew there were big fish in here, but this is a tank. Oh my God. All right, let you guys see him here. Look at this guy, man, just awesome fish, wow. For this tiny little creek, I mean, there's no more than four foot of water in this thing. And to pull this guy out, that is huge. Awesome fish, look at the size of that guy. All right, all right guys, get him back in the water here. There he goes. That was a huge fish. Second fish of the day. First cast in that deeper water over there. Let's go see if we can find another one. All right, I didn't do my intro. Um, we're just using this little green four inch uh, soft plastic kind of swim bait type. Uh, it's from Strike King. And then just on a small um, Texas rig style kind of hook on a weedless but it's kind of bent a little bit, but it's the only one I got that small. So we're gonna keep using it. See if we can get another one. Ah, had a hit. He didn't take it though. See if he hits it again. Oh yeah, he's got it. No! Ah, missed him again. Get back out there, probably need to adjust it. All right, I got my bait adjusted. All I'm doing is casting this out into this deep hole here, letting it settle, twitching it. Um, and that's when I'm having these, these hits. That's how I got the big guy was just on the drop. And that last one was um, after I twitched it a couple of times and let it settle. So let's see if we can find another one. Oh yeah, there we go. Not a big one, but that's a fish. See if we can keep him on. What is that? Oh, that's a rock bass. Nice. Second species of the day. Third fish. Nice little rock bass. There you go. And get him right back in the water. I have waders on, so I could get in there and wade. It would probably give me a little bit better at casting angle. But I really don't want to disturb the water right now with how much action I'm getting. There's, uh, I think I found some small rock bass over there. They're nipping at it, but they're not taking it. So 
probably been what the last couple hits were. Uh, they hit hard though. That was another one. All right, guys. I fished this whole bunch is where I got the big guy at. I'm actually gonna work upstream. I know there's some uh, rapids in a calmer area. So I'm gonna wait upstream a little bit and I'll probably hit this spot one more time on the way out uh, after I've given it some time to settle. All right, my last plastic got a little uh, torn up. So I'm gonna put another one on. This is what I'm using. Uh, cut all the fish on so far. It's a Strike King Dream Shot, uh, four and a quarter inch, green pumpkin color. This hook's so bent, it's hard to make it truly weedless. And so I keep getting hung up on little sticks and stuff on the bottom. But it's the only one I got this small, so we're gonna keep riding with it until it's uh, no longer usable. Ah, had a hit. Might be another red bass, he just didn't take it. Pecking at it, pecking at it. There it is, ah. Dang. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he went tap, 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 tap. And then I tried to set the hook on him the last time because he had a good pull on it. And uh, he did not. So he might be a little small rock bass. I think I said red bass earlier, but definitely a rock bass. I don't know what a red bass is. It'd be cool though. All right, getting some pegs, but let's work upstream. Man, I spooked something big out of that hole. Set right on the other side of this rock, but he probably won't hit it. Let's see if I can bring this bait down into him. Dang, I don't know what it was. He was sitting over here in this calmer pocket, and I just cast in, and he swam out instantly. All right, there's normally fish sitting in these ripples. Um, I only know that because I came through here like a bull in a china shop one time and scared them all out and saw them. Um, so I'm gonna try not to do that today. I'm gonna try to see if I can throw this bait up in the ripples and let it run down and see if I can get a bite or two. Oh, snap me off. Dang. Well, snapped off. That was my one small hook, so I don't know. I think I want to do a soft plastic for these ripples, but might have to go with a bigger hook. All right, guys, we're tied back up. Um, I'm going to try to fish these ripples with this little uh, little swim bait made for the drop shot here, but I'm running it weedless, um, same as I have been. So I'm going to fish that through these ripples. If I don't have any luck with that, I had to go up to a bigger size hook. Um, and so I'm not super confident with, uh, I've already felt like I've missed pretty good amount of fish just because they were smaller and missing the hook. So uh, if I don't get anything through these ripples with this, I'll probably switch it up when I get to the next straightaway. Oh man, I'm on roller skates. This video could very quickly turn into a uh, crash course video of me just eating it the whole time. All right, so safely navigated to a rock that I can fish this little straightaway on without spooking the fish. Oh, got one. No! Oh, he flipped off, but yeah, this hook never came out. Dang. I'm really trying to hit this nice, calm straightaway over here, and that's where I got that one bite. Just like that. And I'm just watching the line to make sure it's, I'm reeling pretty much just as it drifts down, keeping it tight enough that I can hopefully set the hook this time. One more cast and then I'm gonna move up. Ah, that's too far. Ah, felt like a fish. Ah, that was a stick. Oh, man. Bit the tail off my drop shot. All right, put a new one on. Guess I'll try that again, so there's so clearly something up there. 
All right, unable to find another one. Moving on up. Well, that was another bite. And another miss. These fish are super active today. Oh yeah. All right. Definitely not the biggest bite I had in this pool, but uh, was finally able to catch one of the little smallmouth bass that are in there. I definitely had a bigger one or two. All right. There he is, just a little guy. Fourth fish of the day, third smallie though, which is awesome. And right back in he goes. All right, just pulled that one little smallie out of this area. See if I can find another one before we move on up. Golly, another bite, another miss. I'm gonna fish to this rock right here and I'm gonna switch it up and put on something with some treble hooks that's a little smaller because I just don't have the small hooks for this today. All right, guys, I've just been missing a bunch of fish. Um, I think I have too big of a hook on, on my uh, finesse bait. So I'm gonna switch it up. I got a little whopper plopper here. These fish are super aggressive. It's kind of going in and out of cloudy. Um, with the overcast, so I'm gonna see if they hit that for this next stretch. If not, I'll switch it up again. Oh, wow, holy cow! Well, guys, I wasn't recording actually because I'd lost some confidence in the whopper plopper and I was about to change and uh. This giant creek chub just absolutely hammered it twice on the top water. So you got the catch. Uh, I'll definitely toss it back out there and see if I can find another one. That's on me for losing confidence. Yeah, it's a big old creek chub. All right, and there he goes, right back in the water. Got it. That's a big old creek chub. All right, well, the sun had come out. And I was kind of kicking myself for putting the whopper popper on. And I uh, cast it up there and I, he hit it twice. So uh, I'm gonna keep the water flopper on and see if I can find another one. Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, what's this guy? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I think that's the four species of the day. I don't know what this guy was thinking. Tiny little bluegill. Well, not tiny. A little bluegill. And get him back in the water. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. Uh, like I said, had to get the car back to the wife. So there's a hard cutoff. So even though I had a couple bites here at the end, right where I was going to get out, uh, I'm going to call it because happy wife, happy life. Last three fish or so were caught on the Whopper Plopper. Um, the first ones were caught on that uh, Strike King dream shot that I went over with y'all earlier. Uh, awesome day of fishing, four species. Uh, just coming up this tiny little creek here. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you watch this video, definitely uh, subscribe and hit the like button and leave a comment on any type of fishing you'd like to see in the future. Yeah, thanks for watching.